guys, Cruel Blind Wave, I'm Eric. Rick. I'm Calvin. Aaron. And we are back on Lucifer. And last time on Lucifer. Pete's been killing tons of people. No! What? Pete no. is a killer. You know who's a killer? Dan. He shot Lucifer. He well, didn't shoot he him. He shot him. We don't know he who's didn't. Died. Look at what's a, in front of your it eyeballs. Was a sniper that from was the elevator. Your brains. You know what? Considering there's like at least one more season, I don't think he died. Yeah. <laughs> Michael takes a spot. He could oh, die. Maybe. That'd be shifty, huh? That would work. So he has a big old scar across his face, so he can't do that. It looks just like him. Except for the giant scar across his face. It would be weird for the why entire. An why the entire last season, uh-huh. like. Yeah. You know the how bit would just say Michael, Michael instead of Lucifer. I don't. I don't think that's the case. You, you, yeah. You're like, why can't he fix his face? Meanwhile, he's like this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which is weird because he doesn't have to do that. Because when he pretended to be Lucifer, he didn't. Yeah. It's just. It's like you are like this, but you can <coughs> scrunch yourself like this. The gunshot. Oh, Christ. Ring out like a bell. Scream stream. The sky is blue. Is this a Minadel or is this true style? see blood. Or maybe that was Michael. What? His face is not fucked up. Ha 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 ha. What happened? He's invulnerable. Why? He started wearing a vest. The right sex. Here. I'm okay. You're okay. Give and take, so baby. He, he traded his mojo for... Oh, shit. He's the devil and you've known about it all this time? I have never hidden my devilness from anyone. He's told you. Every day. For years. Every day. And when I first learned about who he is, I didn't handle it well either, but no. he's not... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering why he walked over there and walked back. If they're all crazy. Damn where are you going? Target. The I'm Vatican. Gonna... It's hard to slam a door for an elevator. <laughs> but the mojo. The sexual tension has been broken, so he's he's just not as involved. What? How does that work? <laughs> he shot himself. Yep. I'm yeah. vulnerable. <laughs> right in the belly, too. I yeah. know. He could have shot himself in the foot. Then you have to walk on it, though. He could have used a letter opener on his hand. A number of things he could have done. Why didn't it kill him? Uh, wait, wait, wait. Oh. Uh, just, just one yeah. more. I'm a killer. Ah! Key. What's that? Roommate. To here. Is this too fast? I, I... Nope. Nope. It's totally too fast. <laughs> Smash <laughs> I love that. Is there such thing as too well? Yes. Okay. Yes, there yes. is. Because right. he's a killer. He, to do. he says, I love... Meatloaf. <laughs> and, I mean, sure. Meatloaf, absolutely delicious. Okay, but how long did it take Lucifer to say I love you? Uh, Five uh, seasons? Uh, What's he doing over there? He's so mischievous. Is it a snake? It is! It is a snake! That's a snake bag! Damien! That's the safe one, right? Yeah. Good for Tom Ellis stolen sure. that with a live snake. Think of me as your human shield. Oh. Devil shield, rather. Yeah. Come on, let's practice. Whisper, no. Shh, shoot me. <laughs> Whisper killer? <laughs> Lame. <laughs> the silencer. That is better. That is better. This guy wheels himself. San Antonio is a nice town for a stocking. I'm sorry, it was Phoenix. Um, Olivia was in Phoenix, right? He didn't do it. Blend together after a while. Blend no, they don't. And slip an answer out without, you know, I don't think he's a killer, but he was a killer. Maybe he was a copycat. He just stages the bodies and the other guy kills him. Since you seem more concerned with getting the perfect revenge on Dan, why don't you just go do that? I'll get to the bottom of this on my own. Fantastic idea, detective. Divide and conquer. Oh my gosh. I like how she feels she can be more open and honest, but it just didn't work. Bullets aren't the only things that bounce off from him. Uh, kill... Share? Share? Yeah. Like a true crime website or something? Probably. Maybe this is where murderers share what killer things they've done. Like snuff films? I would have called it Kill Feed. Who's gonna hurt? Here's the guess. Here. This is Pete! There's another serial killer. He's the right there, isn't he? <laughs> Fuck! It's Pete! Yeah. Eric, if Pete kills Chloe, I'll never forgive you. <laughs> it's this music. Look, look, look back there. Like, what is that? Is that a llama? <laughs> He's mad. Please listen to your phone. Listen to your phone. <laughs> you was doing it. 
Should have been there. He's not invulnerable. Unless she is. Oh! He uses wings! Dude, that That's how serious it is. Now you're gonna need Dan to help track it down. Dan! Sacrifice his revenge. Yeah. That. Hey, there's no time for you to hate me or me to be mad at you. We gotta save her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A greater evil than the devil has approached us. My greatest revenge is making you work with me. Let's go. Go so are, are these two could do yeah, are these they yeah. solving the crime? Don't you think we should loop in an actual detective? Thank you. I'm here. glad that they covered this a bit. Crap, it's locked. Nope. Really? No. Guess not. Mm. Mm. Kink! You didn't hear the door break! This looks like a, a normal place. Yeah. <laughs> the big knife. Show me. <laughs> That's such an intense line. I love, I love aggressive <laughs> Lucifer so much. Show. I need to make a call. To Dan? To Aminadil? To who? Maze! Ah, you need to find someone. For him to be running a fever like this must mean there's something wrong with him. He's just gonna pick up the doctor by his finger and flip him over the table. Chloe's what? <laughs> Tell me what you need me to do. Right there. <laughs> find someone. <laughs> I love when I can love Maze. Immediately. Oh. A flower. Lily. Lily man. Lily man. <laughs> I fear Lucifer would be used to this smell down in hell. They're not dead though, right? Yeah, they probably torture you with that smell. Let us know. <laughs> There's no way they killed Chloe, right? Nah. It's not Chloe. It just looks like her from the back, right? Hey, we have that knight. I know. With the decorations of a serial killer. Damn. We've been for a while. Sincerely. The voice. Getting worse and worse. He is. What are you doing here? Guess my editor really liked my Whisper Killer coverage. What well, paper was it sending in? Right? Did a bunch of research, huh? Saving newspaper clippings. Are you trying to tell me that after all these years of working with Chloe, that you haven't learned anything? <laughs> uh. Dr. Serbia wants to see us. Uh, that's not good. It feels ominous. Uh -huh. I mean, we already know something wrong with him. Oh, he's got a fever, he's but he's also, yeah. The doctor might be like, I can't test him! Look! He keeps flying away. <laughs> <laughs> I think I remember seeing that the last charges three of the four victims made were at a restaurant. Was it the same restaurant? Five broken ribs, a torn rotator cuff, and it's a small world on repeat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah sure. <laughs> Not as good as Easy Street. It's a wrong terrain. If I still have my mojo, I'd just ask, what is it you desire? I want to be a dancer. It worked? Because she's gone? I happen to own a nightclub, so you help us, I'll hire you, make your footloose dreams come true. What do you say, deal? Deal. <laughs> All right. It's like so I easy. Sold out his job. <laughs> so it's easy. so easy. He's not going to need this job. He got his big break. Have you ever heard of a demon getting a soul? Of course not, that's impossible. Well... There's a first for everything, right? Well, that's different, we're angels. What if your mom breathes into the ring? Demon. Damn it, Lucifer. Right? How do we even know who we're looking for? We're gonna be Pete? Pete? Oh, that was a great cut! Ah, uh, there's a breeze. There's not normally a breeze. Odd. Look at those dragons. No, it's a secret compartment. Secret, secret wall it keeps yeah. all his charity records. <laughs> his charity <laughs> records? <laughs> <laughs> not, not his like blood squares or whatever. His slides. <laughs> his slides. It's a pink Why does light? it have a light? I do not know. It's so bizarre. It's, it is bizarre. It's just a rave back there. <laughs> it's not like. He's hiding his nerd stuff. This isn't his nerd room. You hope he goes in why here and just fucking, yeah, like Star Trek shit all over. <laughs> it's a lot of flowers. That's why it's got colors. Yeah, for it's a lot of It's a lilies. particularly rare kind. It's a lot of lilies. Of lilies. He doesn't. Why would he give her a key? He's not growing weed. It would have been so much better let's, if he was growing weed. Let's watch. Let's see what this is. <laughs> Maybe, Maybe there's the an explanation. The Maybe, there's gotta be an explanation. You right? know what? This is part of the study. He's been trying to figure out more research. Research. This is sure. part of research. I'm gonna give her a key. Oh. Oh, right now. Dexter moved in. Hey. His woman. Yeah, but he kept his apartment for a while. Oops. Sorry. Oh. 
at least Lucifer saw him, right? Her screwdrivers opened up. Mm-hmm. The outlet. The outlet's closed. opened up. Mm-hmm. Knee him in the face while he's down. Bam. Well, what screw? Turn out the window. Bought my E. Oh. God. Hurry up to the pizza house, Lucifer. He's gonna get him, Lucifer or me? <laughs> oh! Was that? Neil. Yeah, oh, she was she one. carrying one? Ella. Fuck yeah. Ah. I am a good guy. Yeah. Except for the whole, you know, killing people part. Exactly. Everyone has flaws. <laughs> You're not wrong. It was my mother. And she didn't hit me. She screamed at me all day, every day. Talkative women. Just wanted to shut her up. A lot of people have crappy childhoods, Pete. We don't become serial killers. Mm. Some people do. Pete, just where is Chloe? I don't know, okay? I didn't do anything to her, I swear. And who did? You really have no idea. Dan? Michael? I was gonna say uh, Dan no, earlier, but I didn't want to clear. blame someone with no evidence. Up yeah, I know, right? Probably would have been wrong. Would have been right. <laughs> How many more victims could you have saved, Eric? <laughs> you got with your gut. I'm gonna take the money I owe you and donate it to the Innocence Project. <laughs> <laughs> All fifty-seven dollars. I'll just spend it on chocolate milk. He <laughs> <laughs> <You> would. <laughs> Where is she? It's why Who Dan's been missing. It? This seems like a Michael thing to do. Right yeah. Than a, just Dan. prison. It's a I don't prison. Think Dan would, you know. Not this. Dan wouldn't do this. Yeah, I don't yeah. think. Yeah, this isn't Dan. I mean, Dan's a little unhinged. Is this a zoo? <laughs> right now. Where are we? In the lion's den. Yeah, that's. <laughs> that's definitely Dan. My good. Oh my gosh. Well, thank you for him for exposing Pete. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we all know Lucifer doesn't lie. So, when he tells you he loves you, you know he really means it, right? He has a sin. Hmm. I'm going down for a second, Lucifer has a love he, This episode, he said that he's nothing without her. You yeah, know? he's gone to hell twice for her. Like, he might be uncomfortable saying the words, but like, you know that he feels it. Don't let him get under your skin. Go chip away at that window. Found him in a bar. Wasted. Okay, so it's not him. Man, no. I didn't say <laughs> He's like so scared. Does he even know Chloe's missing? Michael's an angel. So hey, you're the devil. You're the prince of lies. Wait, wait, wait. What are you getting at? Yes. Is that why everyone's on high alert? I said, what did you tell me? Somebody let me out of here so I can help. He hasn't known this whole time. Where's this cave? I, I, I don't know exactly. How can you not know? Did he blindfold you? Well, I, 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 I kind of... Kind of eyes closed. Passed out. Maybe passed out. On the <laughs> you're both right. Yeah. <laughs> Parts of it, it looked fake. There were, there were bars. I'm still in zoo. Yeah, it's abandoned zoo. zoo. Aha. It's not to escape. It's... How did she get that out of there? Oh no. She's gonna hit Lucifer in the face. <laughs> he really does care about her, doesn't he? I'm a demon. <laughs> <laughs> Just give her the ring so she can have her mom's soul or some shit. What's wrong with the baby? Charlie's fever has subsided. Just your normal run of the milk cold. <sighs> They get him home and yes. he's gonna have fledgling feathers. Yeah, Michael, what are you doing here? I heard Charlie was sick, so I came to show my support. Yeah. Kill him. Support. Despite our differences. <laughs> came to show my support. Kill him. I'm so sorry. What do you mean, sorry, Michael? That's good news. He's not immortal. Thank you, guys. What did they do? They helped him look for it. Yeah. All right. They canvassed. I wonder what the story was they told him. It's just a normal cold. <laughs> right, well, I don't see the problem. He's upset that he doesn't have a divine baby? I guess. I mean, he's half and half. Yeah. He got a cold. Of course. But then he got better. A lot better. I mean, the demons of hell thought he was divine. I don't know. Stop time, man. Yeah. deal. Or is this Michael? Michael can't do this, though, right? Charlie? Maybe Charlie, I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> just could do. Just look. Is he stopped too? He's not just frozen. I didn't do anything to make this happen. But not consciously, obviously, but this is clearly triggered by your fears. So just stop being afraid. 
<laughs> not going to die. Now the devil and age are short. It's not my fault you impregnated one of these filthy little humans. <laughs> what does he want? Who did that? Maze. Maze. Obviously, because we have to go down this road again. Nice. This is three times. Why did I say three seasons ago? <laughs> I put a four. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. He's pushing the shards the out of the way. Stopped. It is really cool. He's pushing the shards out of the way until they're free of them, and then. Get up. Oh, that's so fucking cool. Are we gonna fight in freeze fry? Free, like freeze time? We <laughs> 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 better fight to Lucifer. Oh, now they're fighting over there. They're fighting over there. I don't know if the other one's gonna be as much of a fight. I love that thing in pause time and everybody's like here for it. Oh, man, that's like a strong feeling hit. Yeah, they're doing like an artificial like camera jiggle. Oh, no, learn twice a karate. Oh! Sweet! Oh. <laughs> 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 a minute, you'll get... Ah-ha-ha! Get it back! <laughs> Just stare at him. <laughs> oh, All dang. Right. Poor Tom Ellis stunt double. Now they're armed! <laughs> oh! No, not Beardy! Is he gonna start killing other people? <laughs> oh, all the wings coming out. <laughs> What's it do? <gasps> Father? This is what he wanted. Who? Who is it? State Farm guy. State Farm guy? guy? <laughs> you know I hate it when you fight. <laughs> State you're Farm a, guy! You're in good hands! <laughs> ah! Damn it, Jerry. Damn, that was the best thing to go. <laughs> all states. It's all state. All That's states. what I mean, yeah. yeah. We did the same thing. <laughs> and that that. Yeah, not State Farm guy. All state guy. They're good hats. <laughs> oh, man. This episode just kept going. I'm like, all right, well, it's going to end here and we'll continue. No. They fucking God. I was not expecting God. Dude, like, Machia. <laughs> thought we were going to have, like, a minute you'll get stabbed in the yeah, back. Yeah, I, I thought somebody was going to get maze stabbed or something. Or... Or... No, I didn't think that was going to happen. I didn't know what was going to I thought maybe the ring God was going to break. I mean, I thought, like, okay, well, we tossed Maze down there, they gave the knives, he's going to fight Michael, they're going to be fighting Michael, someone's going to get stabbed by Maze in the back. But then they start fighting again. Yeah. So then I didn't know what was going to happen. What does this do for Michael? Is God, well, like, punish it, them again? Do you think it's what he was after? Was his end game? Was to get God? I think, I think so. he was, yeah, he was trying to get God to, like, mediate again. Send Lucifer back to hell. And have him Dude. at his right side so he gets the power again. How right? do you get the parent who's busy doing everything else to show up? All the kids gotta start doing bad shit. Right? They gotta and start a fight. And he's like, hey, what the stop fuck that! On? Damn you kids. Like if you had a camera at your Go house, to your room. your kids are by themselves. They're just fucking fight out. You, you come in, you break in the door. Kids! What's going on? Yeah. Great casting. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder who God was going to be. I fucked up the insurance company, but they got a tagline <laughs> yeah. right. No, he, he was... It was definitely on not the voice of God from last season. Or no. Whatever. That was the author, right? <laughs> yeah. But we did the same thing in Brooklyn Nine-Nine. He was fake Holt in that, and then we kept saying, State Farm. <laughs> 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 oh, that's funny. I need uh, some prediction insurance for that whole Pete debacle. Pete, baby, Pete! Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Gave the writer too much credit. <laughs> Thought he was going to be an obvious red hair. Uh, I mean, Lucifer. You guys pinned him in the first moment. Yeah. That's too obvious. <laughs> He's not going to be a red hair. <laughs> I was like, you are going to be gonna be such fools when you realize that they outsmarted you. I mean, they, they it was, drug it on really well. I was like... The same thing happened to Flash, Aaron. It's too obvious. Sure. The thing they did well to kind of help with that is that they introduced him in the episode before the serial killer. Yes. Which is kind of... Rather than him just showing up when the serial killer episode's going on, sure. he showed up the time before when they were dealing with blue but balls they, and the DJ and yeah. all that stuff. I just think like... If you do that, and it's going to be a mystery, you need to have introduced two, maybe three possible, like, it could be this guy, it could be this guy, not one, and you're like, well, who's left? It's like, oh, it's fucking Pete. Sure. The thing that helps with that is when they introduce, if the serial killer we would have seen beforehand. Yeah. Came back and ended up being the serial killer, and they're like, oh, they call the serial killer. But then they also were seeding it with, like, Chloe being like, something doesn't seem right. Yeah. Yeah. I thought we were going to go red herring there. We are going to have Ella be like, well, I'm doubting, but then it's actually not him. And she's like, you know what? Maybe I can try. Nope. Sure. <laughs> she's just never going to be with someone now. Yeah. She can never trust anyone. I mean, the strong part of Lucifer has never been its mysteries. You're right. Eric, I, I love how your argument was 
He knows Klingon. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way he could be a killer. <laughs> I was grasping. I know. <laughs> <laughs> It's just that that rang out in my mind. At what point? Sure, when we were talking last night, I was sure what's going to happen is they are going to pin him, and it's not going to be. It's going to be a double and fake. It's going to be so good. Yeah. What was the moment that you finally accepted it? <laughs> oh, I mean, this episode, one hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the episode. When I was doing this, I was like, God, don't <laughs> when it, was it when he said, uh, I think it was when, like, oh, I have a uh, boss showed stuff. up at the yeah. crime scene. Yeah. It's, it's like, 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 okay, I she's going to find it. She has a key. Sure. But even that felt so heavy handed where I'm like, but they'll know. But they, they didn't, when the note they didn't introduce anyone the else, though, was the problem. Yeah. yeah. Generally, yeah. even Lucifer's formula itself is like between the 10 and 14 minute mark, they introduce the real person who, for some reason, we have the full name, and then it comes back later, you know? It's almost always the person, I have no reason to know this person's name, and that's the mystery killer. Didn't happen. Pete. Fucking Pete. Pete. I think it could be this guy. It's like, who else? <laughs> what do you mean? It's him. <laughs> What's sure. Pete's last name? I mean, I don't remember. I don't know. I don't matter. Pete, Have they said it? Pete Lilly. I'm not going to be in the show anymore. I don't know. Like, mystery wise, like, there's been, like, I was fully on board with the Lily man was who stole Chloe. You know? Mm-hmm. I was not necessarily ready when, the, especially in the very beginning, being like, ah, it's Michael or something like that. I was, I was like, oh no, that. it's Pete. She's getting too close to the thing. Pete's going to come in. He's got to stop her. But. Michael did it, and because Michael did that, they caught Pete. Yeah. Or else they wouldn't. They would, might not have. I mean, she was on a lead too, anyway. Yeah. So they might have gotten there at some point, but not as fast as they did right here. I don't think. Definitely accelerated the timeline. Yeah. Might have saved another victim. Yeah. Maybe. Sure. Well, was there another victim between uh, the opera singer? Because the victim that they found this episode was before the was opera before singer. Before that one, yeah. She had maggots. So and stuff. has there been one since? That? The, the only other one was the copycat. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, he hasn't had another one yet. It might have been Ella, might depending have. on how things went. Yeah. Is so we might have saved Ella's life because of Michael stealing yeah. Chloe. Sure. Maybe. Is this uh, this season had like two parts, right? Which two parts? Which you mean that drop like the part one and part two? All when it released. This felt like a mid-season finale. Oh, yeah, I'm not sure. At the very yeah. least, like when it kept oh, yeah. going, and then like oh, they're having the fight now. Oh, like a maze turns. Okay, well that happens in the end. I guess <laughs> so. Finales. It, it I think God shows up. It felt like a season break or a mid-season break but yeah. it's Netflix that doesn't only really have them so sure. but I know at least one of these seasons had like a part A part B well, it's probably this one then maybe no idea it wouldn't there, be a season of Lucifer if Maze didn't change because there's 16 episode seasons love it every right? time uh <laughs> You guys give Maze a hard time. She's, I, don't know, I feel like she's so complicated of a demon not knowing where she belongs she feels like Lucifer's lying to her though being manipulated by Michael I think this one's better than before when it was just like, I don't like you, so thus I'm going to join sure. Cain and stuff, you know? Yeah, like I, I can't agree that this whole thing. Hopefully, God can literally just, I'm God. Yeah, you want a soul? Bam, soul. Sure. But maybe you want to. Maybe like, he'll be like, he just sends her to Korea. Hell and just sends her the, to hell. The, the so, only part, I understand her being mad with <laughs> Lucifer. Maybe she's taking it out on him and stuff like that. But... I guess Aminadil being here fighting Michael is how he's getting wrapped up. I'm like, why is she swinging blades at Aminadil? You know, don't yes. do that, but I don't know. Lucifer yeah, just needs he... to listen to people. If he had listened to Aminadil, he might not have gotten so freaked out if he could have reassured him. If he listened to Maze, she wouldn't have maybe done this. Sure. That's a lot of it, too. It was like, his mind's always other places. His mind is always on Chloe. And 100% well, fo- well it's 100% no. focused on whatever it's focused yeah. on. And there's room for zero else. Yeah. Like, he was focused on Chloe, so he didn't answer Maze, maybe in a proper fashion of just being like, I don't know. But, but then he, he was focused I, on revenge. I do believe his truth is that he believes it's impossible for a demon to get a soul. Yeah. So I don't think he's lying with anything, you know? But he also has his word with Lilith. So He's so dismissive There's of There's a superseding thing where it's like, well, I'm not going to just openly talk to you about your mom, but I had, a, I had words with her. But then whenever he's with Chloe, he was fully on revenge for Dan. Rather than being there for and Chloe, that guy, Chloe and like that. So she's always, he's always like, I'm in this moment. This is what I'm doing right now. Depending but I feel like sometimes he'll do that, and then at the end of the episode, he'll realize, like, you know what? I'm doing this, and it feels like he has a connection with the person. 
but never for Maze. He just takes advantage of the fact that Maze is a thing, not a person, I guess. Sure. Yeah. But he never is, you know, you could say, like, I'm sorry, it's just it's not a possible thing. I've never heard about it, anything like that. And it's like, fuck, no, it's not possible. Don't bother me with your bullshit is yeah. what it feels like. I think he has treated Dan better than he has Maze. Agreed. You know, and I don't think that that helps Maze in her situation but where she believes he's lying. And I also don't think he sees Maze as a person that needs reassurance or... I agree, but he takes almost no effort, I feel like, to blossom their relationship. Like, he never, he never makes her feel like he cares. I think he does. Just like, I, I don't doubt that he loves Chloe. I don't know what his whole, like, well, it's complicated thing is. I mean, isn't it a literal plot point last time was first love, right? Yeah. Which implies that he loves her. What's complicated about saying it? I don't know yet, or it could just he could just lie. I've never said it before. It's hard for me. I don't know what that is, but it feels like it's a thing versus a hang up. I don't know. Maybe the last time he said it was to God, and that's when he got kicked out. Maybe. And then he has a like abandonment thing with that or something. Sure. Yeah. But he didn't tell us that. But that's also what yeah. Lucifer often does, right? He, sure. He won't it's not that he'll lie, but he'll leave things out of what the truth is. Don't you wait, hope like when we come back, God's just a jerk. I don't want Lucifer to like be. No, he's a jerk. He <laughs> just justified. Yeah. It doesn't say just because he's God that he's good. This is right? why I rebelled, Dad. <laughs> he's just a jerk. He, he's, he does like an Alex Trebek one maze. Like, can you get me a soul? Ha <laughs> ha. No. <laughs> oh, Alex Trebek should have been God. Yeah. Oh, that would have been good. Um, we did have the talk too of Michael talking about the angel self actualizing and stuff. Sure. So like, it makes me wonder of like, you know, the things that Chloe's worried about, his mojo being back, the invulnerability and stuff for Lucifer. Heck, Amenadiel was even able to do, like, all the angels seem to be getting back their powers. And is that because of a reason? Is it just based on the actual self-actualizing of something? It like, seems to always be the, the answer. The Amenadiel one makes sense. Because He's freaking out because fear. his son is mortal, so he doesn't want his son so, to perish. It's not even controlling it. It's just that he naturally did this to protect his son from having any dangers and stuff. Yeah. Well, it's the same thing when he got his wings back to take Charlotte to yeah, heaven, he needed right? to kind of thing, right? But why is... Um, and but he also said the last time he used his time ability was to save Linda. Yeah. So that kind of fits in. Right? Like, when he needs to, it happens, but otherwise it doesn't. But that can also be good, so he's not just fucking with time shit. But why is Lucifer invulnerable? Is it more of a thing where it's like, I needed to be vulnerable so you could really understand who I am, but now I don't need that anymore? Yeah. Right? It, because you already know who I am? Has he become whole, you know, and yeah. now isn't fractured like he was before? Or is he closing himself off? Sure. Like, hey, and she also do the mojo? The mojo thing is weird, right? That, like, I would say that the self acquisition thing, all that stuff, that makes sense. But how does that work with Chloe? How well, she Chloe can only do it to him. I don't think that Chloe has it. I think that it's he's a reverse mojo of yeah. Lucifer yeah. where he's doing it for her. But no one else can do it to him. It's not that she actually has the power. It's just that it's his power working on him when she asks. And I think it's like that was one of the ways of like vulnerability, right? Like now you know what I really want. You know, I've been vulnerable, I've been this and that. And maybe now like I don't I don't know what change I'm trying to think of when he got shot. If anything was said right beforehand, that would have changed anything. Um, See, I was wondering, has has he ever been injured when when someone else shot him? Or was it only when Chloe hurts him? No, he got shot by uh, Malcolm, right? Mm -hmm. Malcolm shot Mm -hmm. him. But then he... But that was when when Chloe was there, right? Yeah, she was still there. Like, she was in the warehouse. I'm wondering now if it's like, it only works for her. Like, he's only vulnerable when she shoots him, or he it well, only mojos him when he, she asks. He just got stabbed by the serial killer last episode, and that was after they had sex and had the whole mojo thing. Sure. On. So but it was also, he wasn't invulnerable until this moment? It was also before they had a talk on the balcony. I'm trying to think of what they said. Was, was that, that when, when she did she said, say, I love, I love you? you? I don't know when that happened, because it didn't feel like that moment. It felt like she was like, I'll be right back, too, and <laughs> stuff, but I don't know. But the end of last episode, whatever happened, I feel like it got it must have culminated to a point for for Lucifer to where Chloe needing to see him vulnerable, like they didn't need that anymore. She make if she if that's the first time she said I love you, then she's he's been vulnerable, she's seen the real him, she knows who he is. She loves that now. He doesn't need to be that Lucifer. Thus he can be invulnerable and he can have his devil face and he can have his mojo. And it doesn't matter anymore. 
But at the same time, it's also not him, like, shutting off to where, like, well, now I'm impervious to you and I don't care anymore. But it's more of, like, I don't need to try to shut things down so that she feels that she actually knows me. I don't know. Something else that's got me real fucked up right now that I realized it. Since Charlie isn't a celestial, the devil face, what's that about? He likes it. He, you know, he just likes it. He thinks it's his, funny. his brain I mean, isn't developed enough to understand. That I guess, but scary. what's it what's it doing to his undeveloped brain? <laughs> well, there's also nothing to say that Michael isn't manipulating the situation. Oh yeah, yeah. sure. Like the way Lucifer talked about it is like maybe he is a celestial, but he made him sick. Like I don't know if angels can get sick, but what if what if Michael can make him seem sick or give him like an angel? virus yeah the, the, the freezing in time one's a little stranger i don't know how you would do that i mean that could just be being half human you know i don't know like being half human like he's half celestial half human you know so yeah. does he get the best and worst of both he's sides like he's like goliath he'll mm-hmm. just get really big yeah and then he'll die from being hit in the forehead with a rock maybe like sparky sparky boom man yeah you know the most ridiculous thing in this episode they implied that tom ellis can't create desire Hmm. Hey. Ridiculous. <laughs> the desire for a beautiful man is there. He can't. Tom Ellis is that beautiful man. He's saying, the man can create desire. He didn't create, <laughs> yeah, but he didn't create the dancing desire. Both as a joke, and like in the, I thought like the first couple episodes, it implied that he did, like, he did like what? enhanced desire for women. Like I mean, Linda, like, went against her inhibitions. Inhibition. I don't know. I mean, that that's the thing. Like, Not to imply he, he's like a roofie. No, but. Like I don't know. I felt like back then that's for how there I felt. to be an inhibition, like there has been... to be a desire. Sure, right? I mean, if he's a well dressed, rich, good looking man, yeah, yeah, like there might automatically be some desire yeah. there, but people don't act on them. Yeah. But he can pull it out, and then they're more. If you walk around looking like me, it might not work. It's like if you do might, the, if you do the naked man, right? Uh-huh. That's the Hail like, Mary. You probably wouldn't have sex with that person yeah, under normal right. circumstances, yeah. but because it's out on Front Street now, yeah. now it's a possibility. Sure, he is the naked man every day. And well, works if you look good naked. Sure. Well, no, it it, oh, yeah. it worked on Robin Trust though, and that guy did not look good naked. No, it could work on like like you have a date. It maybe didn't go so well. You do the naked man for a Hail Mary, and it's like well. We're here. All right. <laughs> like, it can happen. It's like, you might have... Well, I'll close my eyes. It'll be all right. You know? Maybe, yeah, I guess, if you're funny. <laughs> but if you're just... Or rich. <laughs> or rich. I just thought it was funny. So you can't create desire. I was like, well, actually... Yeah, maybe he doesn't. Maybe it's just a matter of, like, you know what? There is a desire here. I pull it out. Now, since we've already talked about it, well, why not? Yeah. You know? And they're like, ah, oh, all right. There is something... That makes sense. Like, cheesy, campy, but also, I don't know charming to me I, I just Tom Ellis just playing his sweating brother you know yeah. we're supposed to take that seriously sure. you know but yeah. I love his accent I just love his mannerism and he just is so not Lucifer yeah the must have been character he's it's so like I like they're they're nailing the eye line and there's moments where I'm like oh these are the same actor I gotta remember that yeah no yeah, yeah. no the, the smarmy nasally yeah. like like on one hand that he it's has stupid it's... that you you asked me to accept this on the other hand I don't why not? <laughs> you know, just I do can't it. find a reason not just, to. Yeah, I, I don't believe the Undertaker is dead when I watch wrestling, but sure. it's more fun to believe it. Sure, I watched Parent Trap. Oh, okay, yeah. It took me a second. Yeah. To, I was thinking Mister Parent. I was like, How the fuck is that, man? No, that's a different movie. <laughs> I did like, I did like the angel devil on the shoulder kind of thing, but like yeah. Lucifer's like. Don't listen to him, brother. He's fine. He's like, no, he's a terrible yeah. child. You know, whatever. They've and also like, done that with Lucifer and Amenadiel, haven't they? It feels like remember, they could. Maybe. I'm pretty sure they have. It's a fun thing to toy with because that's like that stereotypical kind of angel devil shoulder thing. And they're yeah. just like, ah, but it's the same guy. Yeah. You know? And it's what? like when Kronk. Yeah. And it's like evil <laughs> yes. Kronk yeah, and like good Kronk, whatever. <laughs> but it's just more Kronk. <laughs> I forgot about And I would say one of the best fights in the show. Yeah. No, it was pretty I good. think it was. I think Lucifer was, coming through the window uh, at the finale of Kane that was really good. Yeah, but this one was. But there's no the fight best. there. He landed and they like bullets. You yeah, know? but it wasn't just like. Sure. Like editing, but I know? love the. I wish they would have played with it more. But the glass stopping, but like yeah. being broken through, it would been cool to see. Like, well, yeah, I guess. Yeah. But like, pick up a coffee cup and you throw it at somebody. But, yeah. like, does it stop in the air? Or does it break and hit someone yeah. and then it stops in the air? You know? Yeah. Like, I, I understand it's a TV show. It has a certain style. But, like, if this was a movie or, like, a different styled show, 
you imagine the choreography like ideas of fighting around people that are frozen you know like going to like stab someone stopping them hitting it out of the way you know there's sure. just be a lot of really fun gags that you could have I like that Lucifer. Michael was trying to like kill yeah, someone they did it once but I thought like he could have you which know, kind of he's an angel so I guess that's okay I, maybe maybe knew. that's what we'll gotta <laughs> Maybe. Maybe he knew that Lucifer <laughs> would catch it, so then it wasn't. Because, like, ah, oh, Lucifer will catch this. Now I can hit him in a deal. You know? Sure. Like, huh. I'm not sure. But yeah. I liked it. I thought it was a fun episode. Yeah. I feel like it's a mistake that both those huge insurance far- firms have state in their name. Like, is that our fault or is that their fault? Um, our fault. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this, make sure you subscribe as we've got more Lucifer to watch. Yes. Including the next four episodes, which are already over at patreon.com slash blindly. So check that out in the description below. Subscribe, hit the like button, and we'll see you guys next time. Daddy's home.